Today I'm going to show you how to do two different types of repairs to Flux Plus coating. First one here is a cut that is in the material. It starts off as any type of sharp object that was forcefully pushed through the material. Once the material has been penetrated, a lot of times people want to then pull at it and see what it does so it continues to make an even more uneven tear along the edge. The other type of damage is an edge that uh, receives very high use or gets rubbed into a lot and the color tends to wear off. So the first thing that we would want to do is to just clean the surface. I'm using a very simple 409. We want to make sure all the grease and oils are off the surface that we're going to repair. So nothing fancy, just wipe it down, make sure it's clean, and then you're going to want to let that entirely dry before you move on to the next step. For the cut, what I'm going to do is we are going to reseal this so that it is, again, permeable to any type of weather or any other further um, tearing or pulling. I'm using a very simple paintable latex caulk. This one has silicone in it. Um, very inexpensive, available at any hardware store. But all you're going to do is take that, apply it pretty liberally to the surface underneath. It is gonna push down into the foam. It's gonna create a really strong seal to the coating again. What you wanna do is get the cuts to line up or the uneven surface to line up as nicely as possible so that the area is as clean looking as possible. When you wipe it up, you'll see that the cut is hardly noticeable. And then you wanna give that enough time to set up and cure. It's usually um, on the bottle telling you how long, but we'll give it about 24 hours to completely set up and cure before we do touch up over the top of that, which finalizes that sealing process, making sure that nothing's going to continue to get in there or um, people will continue to pull at it. Once you have your paint mixed in a three to one ratio, 3% color to 1% hardener, you're gonna use a foam roller like this. Um, this does not come in the touch-up kit, but this is what we would recommend for using, or for covering a larger area. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna follow any area where the color has been removed in a nice smooth stroke. Um, applying enough paint, you may have to do a couple layers. Um, but to cover the area and then you can use the roller to kind of feather it out and get an even look. 